Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, so my name is Megan Sullivan. Welcome to today's live stream, which is all about recruiting and hiring and working at Gatsby. Uh, I'm joined today by a handful of my wonderful colleagues. Uh, I'm going to give everybody a chance to go around the circle and introduce themselves. So you can talk about uh, who you are, your role at Gatsby, how long you've been here, and a fun fact. Uh, so Christine, let's start with you. Awesome. Well, hey, everyone. I'm Christine Egger. Uh, let's see. I'm the Senior Director of People here at Gatsby. Uh, I have two decades of people ops experience, the last 10 years specifically in technology companies. And let's see, I have been with Gatsby for about 10 months now, um, in COVID time, no less. <laughs> and a quick fun fact about me, the first video game I fell in love with, which will definitely date me, uh, Commodore 64 fans, Jack Attack. Nice. Uh, Caitlin, let's go to you next. Okay. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm the Senior Recruiting Manager at Gatsby, and I've been here for nearly two years in October. And a fun fact about me is that when I was a kid, my dad found a, a totally degraded 1950s ice cream truck in a junkyard, and he restored it. And then he, my brother, and I dressed up as ice cream people, and we gave away ice cream at town events. Uh, I love that so much. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to keep going around the circle. JD, you want to go next? I can go next. Yeah. Hi, I'm JD Peterson. Uh, I'm the I'm the evil marketer in the group. No, I'm the chief marketing officer uh, here at Gatsby. I've only been at Gatsby for five weeks, uh, which makes me a veteran, though, again, in, in COVID times and startup times, right? Five weeks is actually a long time. Uh, but the newest one here, I, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm a longtime technology uh, startup guy, but but fairly new to Gatsby and, and excited to be here. Um, I guess fun fact about me, despite the bevy of instruments uh, sitting behind me that you can see here, I don't really play any of them very well. <laughs> I'm actively teaching myself some guitar, but uh, so I guess I guess that's my fact. But yeah, it makes me look a lot more musical than I actually am. There you go. You don't play them yet. You will. Life is long. Exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, Tona, can you bring us home? Yes. Uh, my name is Tona Mendoza. I am the engineer manager of the cloudy side uh, of uh, Gatsby right now. Um, I, I'm supporting the infrastructure squad uh, and uh, the builds and deploys squad right now. Uh, so we're hiring for that too. Please help. Um, uh, I am from Mexico, currently living in Seattle. I've been in Gatsby since uh, January and uh, loving it so far and uh, will continue loving it on the future. And uh, finally, fun fact, um, when I'm not at uh, work and uh, eating, I am usually playing uh, video games. I, I enjoy playing uh, fighting uh, video games. Nice. What's your favorite? I play Street Fighter V. Nice. Very cool. All right. Cool. So thanks, thanks everybody, for introducing yourselves. Uh, if you are around in the chat, feel free to drop questions as we're talking about things today. Uh, we're going to be focusing on peeking behind the scenes of how things work at Gatsby. So everything from the recruiting and hiring process uh, all the way through to like what it's like to actually work here. So if you've ever wanted to know what it's like at Gatsby, now is the time to ask all your questions. Uh, so we're going to start, I'm going to pass the mic over to Caitlin to talk about uh, our secrets of recruiting. Yes, all the secrets. Well, <laughs> I am excited to be chatting with you today about what you can expect and some hot tips. But I thought I'd start with open roles that we have on the website currently. We have a handful across different parts of the org. And you can find more about these job descriptions, life at Gatsby, at our careers page. Um, so you'll find there. Senior DevOps engineer on our infra squad, Tona, is the hiring manager. Ooh -ooh. Uh, staff software engineer on our integrations and collaboration squad, product marketing manager, and director of content marketing. Um, and JD is on those hiring panels. So we are continually expanding across different teams in the org from eng to design to product. So that career page is the best place to stay 
updated on which roles are open at any given time. So when you find the right role in all job descriptions, you will find a section describing the key skills for a given role. I'd say if you have half of what's listed, go ahead and apply. We don't expect every candidate to check every single box, but you will notice that these skills are completely linked to the functionality of the role. So we won't mandate having a certain degree, a certain number of years of experience. We don't find that those necessarily reflect what we need from a new teammate. So once you've found that perfect role, you will apply online. You should receive a confirmation email pretty quickly that we got your application. And in this application, you will definitely include a resume. We do not use screening software. So a real person is going to read your resume. So we super appreciate a resume that uses legible fonts. Um, and I would also highly recommend submitting a cover letter. So a well-crafted cover letter is gonna help you knock it out of the park make it easy for our hiring manager to invite you to a first round interview. So you'll show the bridge between your work experiences and interests and the organization's pain points and goals and hot tip. You'll find information about that on the JD. <clears throat> so if the hiring team would like to invite you to interview, you'll hear within a few days of applying, our coordinator, Rachel, will reach out and schedule your first call. It might be with me. Um, we'll always do that through Calendly, so you can pick out a time that works well for you. And we are fully distributed, so that may not be a surprise to people who are with us today. So all of your calls will be through Zoom. <coughs> so hiring panels, what to expect when you're interviewing. The panel is always going to be comprised of the folks that you will work with most closely. So this is on purpose. We want to put you in a position to make a great decision about where you choose to work. So it's an intentional opportunity for you to get to know who would be part of your day-to-day -day life at Gatsby. This process is also pretty closely designed to mirror the work that you'd be doing day-to-day. -day. So this is important for us to ensure that we're being fair, indexing on the right skill sets for a role and being practical. And it's also part of the world building that we want to do for you. So you can expect every step to be pretty sincerely designed, straightforward. We won't ask you anything tricky or uh, meant to catch you off guard. You will also have someone from people ops with you each step of the way. So you won't ever be guessing what's next. Uh, we'll usher you through the entirety of the process. And one thing I would say is if you are nervous, that is so normal. Um, but remember that we're excited to talk to you too. And it's super important to us that you feel comfortable, respected through the process. Um, things that make you successful at Gatsby once you're in the door, yay. There isn't one type of person, but broadly speaking, I'd say this group particularly values open communication and an emphasis on collaboration and ultimately kindness. I think that's the bottom line for all of us. So I think Christine will share more about that culture and what it means to us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we definitely have a very focused collaborative team. And collaboration actually is one of our, our key values. We um, hold our core values, um, uh, you know, close to our heart. And we definitely, it's not something that we look at, you know, just once or twice a year. We've ingrained our core values into everything we do, whether it's the recruiting process and looking for candidates who, you know, sort of have the same values as us, or, um, you know, through the performance process, if we're looking for um, candidates or uh, team members who we want to promote, you know, we're looking, you know, what does their performance look like? What are they living our core values? Things like that. Um, we're a very focused team, but we have a lot of fun together too. And I think that's one of the the key attributes of, of working at Gatsby. Um, I know when I was looking for an opportunity, there was sort of three main things that I was looking for. Um, one, I wanted to look to work for a, a company that was a disruptor in the tech space, and Gatsby checked that box. Um, the second thing I was looking for was um, to work for a company that was that had a distributed workforce um, because of two main reasons. One, um, I really enjoy, and I was looking for sort of that flexibility um, in in my in my ability to do, to do my work. Um, you know, I have. I have a family, I have multiple things to juggle and being able to, to balance that work life um, finite balance is, is really challenging. And it's something that Gatsby is really proactive in. Um, so that's one thing I'm proud of. 
the last thing I was looking for in a, a, a role was a place where I could have a, a positive impact. And that's definitely something that I think is uh, true at Gatsby. The fact that we um, look for uh, grooming opportunities for our team, um, providing them a ladder to, to continually grow uh, in their career is something that, you know, all of our managers are work, um, you know, sort of hand in hand with us on to make sure that we're um, providing those opportunities for our team members. Um, so we definitely focus on a growth culture. So, um, you know, we also provide a, a professional stipend for every team member and the amount of 3000 US dollars. And I think that's huge to be able to take that and like apply it to whatever you want, whether it's, you know, more coding classes or uh, public speaking or whatever it is that's sort of important to you is something that, you know, Gatsby wants to be supporting our team. in. so that's really, really important as well. And on top of all of that, we have a ton of fun together. Um, I think it's really interesting because I've been with the organization for about 10 months now, and I've only met like maybe a handful of people in, in real life uh, because of these COVID times. But what's really um, kind of, uh, important to me and 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 fascinating is that I feel really connected to to our team. Um, we one of our core values is to collaborate by default and to collaborate early and often. And so when you do that, you just have a rapport and a connection to people in, in, in a very unique way. And it's something that we believe in at Gatsby that will further the work that we do and then also just further the company. So um yeah, even though I've only met you know five people like in person, like I feel very connected and I feel like the team feels connected in, in the things that we do do. Um, we have a lot of fun together. We have activities, um, whether it's like doing escape room uh, virtually, which was kind of mind blowing to me. I had never done that before. Um, we do trivia every week. Um, some people are really good at trivia. I am not, and that's okay, but it's still fun to play. Um, we've also played like GeoGuessr or About Among Us. Um, things like that. So we try to connect and collaborate with people in different ways because um, our team is is global. And, and that's, I think, one really unique thing. And one thing that was really important to me in working for Gatsby, um, not only having the flexibility of sort of managing your life and your, and your work, but also having that um, ability to work inclusively with people all around the globe that you, you may not have worked with before in the, you know, in any other opportunity. That's huge. Um, you know, we have teammates in um, Canada, Nigeria, Germany, Poland, Russia. I mean, it's it's awesome to have that type of dynamic where you're, you know, you're sharing feedback, you're sharing information, and you're growing together um, individually and collectively. So that's a little bit about our culture. I'm happy to answer more questions, but that's a quick snapshot. Nice. You do have one question so far in the chat. Uh, last time I looked at the about page, there were different faces. How quick is the turnaround? Oh, um, actually, that's one of the things that we have our new team members um, do in their first week um, is put together their uh, little bio on their on their pick in their page. So that that comes up fairly quickly. Can I break the script and ask a question myself? I want to yeah, ask. Caitlin, I want to ask Caitlin. Uh, not that we have a script, but but <laughs> I want to ask Caitlin when we were showing the job uh, descriptions thing. We got this cool thing called Dream Job on there, and I know I'm in my dream, dream job right now. But but what is that all about? How can some? What does that mean for someone to apply to their dream job? If you would like to work at Gatsby and you don't see a role that fits your background and interests. Uh, on that page now, you can send your resume and a cover letter into Dream Job, and I'm actually the one that monitors that. Um, so we'll just hang on to your application until we have a role that fits what you're looking for, and you'll indicate as much when you when you apply to Dream Job. Pulling up a link to it now to drop into the chat. Thank you. Nice. Cool. Uh, and Christine, you were talking about our core values and you mentioned one of the big ones is collaborating by default. Do you want to talk about the other core values that we have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so when I came on board, I had conversations with the team about what was important to us um, individually and collectively and sort of gathered those, those thoughts and um, came up with five distinct core values that, again, we've interwoven them into everything we do, whether it's, you know, um, 
indexing on the, the hiring process and see, finding candidates who sort of uh, embody the same values, or if we're looking at promotion opportunities, um, things like that. We're we're always looking to our values to you know light the way to signal to people who we are and what's important to us. Um, so yeah, the, our core values like first prioritize the customer. Our customer is really important, and whether it's um, you're in marketing or engineering or um, another part of the organization, you know, understanding your customer and prior prioritizing them is, you know, obviously super important to us. Um, the second is take ownership. So we definitely look for um, individuals who have like an entre entrepreneurial spirit and who aren't afraid to sort of take the ball and run with it. Um, there is no way to make a mistake at Gatsby. If you make a mistake, we work together and we, you know, move forward and, and, and course correct. But um, having that sort of psychological safety to um, to put yourself out there, be vulnerable, put your ideas out there. It's something that's really, really important to all of us um, at Gatsby. And it's part of the culture that is formulated here. So um, again, take ownership is a really important core value. Um, thirdly, expect excellence, have empathy. Um, you know, we hold ourselves accountable to, you know, high standards. We're a high performing team. We're focused um, and we want to make sure that, you know, people are on the same page, but we also want to be empathetic in that. So, um, you know, we we speak to each other with respect and candor and um, want to make sure that we're always uh, interweaving that, you know, empathetic uh, mindset as well. Um, the fourth core value is grow through inclusivity. And, you know, I spoke about this sort of in our um, distributed workforce, just, you know, we have a myriad of different uh, types of individuals at Gatsby. Um, and that makes for a richer and more diverse team. And that makes for richer and more diverse ideas and concepts. Um, it's really important to us. And we focus on uh, diversity inclusion. We have trainings and, and um, we support our, our teams in that way. So we want to continue to grow through inclusivity and allow people to thrive um, here at Gatsby. And then our last value is to collaborate by default. And again, you know, I sort of spoke to this earlier, but um, this is something that I've learned at Gatsby to collaborate early and often. Like normally it's very human to sort of want to hold everything to the vest and like make sure it's perfect before you share out something. And that's not how we work at Gatsby. We want people to interact and, and have feedback and comments all through the process so we can make sure that we're iterating on whatever it is that we need to do. And, and that helps get us to the best place possible, whether it's um, engineering code or a marketing uh, plan or whatever it is, like collaborating across teams um, is super important. And, and it's, again, one huge reason why Collaborate by Default um, became one of our core values as well. Um, we've intersected our values, as I said, into all of sort of the life cycle of a team and an employee. And we've also like done some fun stuff around it too. So we at Gatsby um, have, we share tacos and, and what tacos are, are basically an opportunity for you to, to shout out your team member for anything that they're doing that's exemplary or if they've helped you or supported you or been above and beyond in some way, shape or form. You know, we want to share that um, camaraderie and make sure people understand like, hey, like people are, you know, so and so did an amazing job at, at this last night or they put out this fire. Um, so we we do that in line and um, integrating our core values as well. Nice. Thanks for sharing that. I know that for me, like the core values are always something that I look at when I'm looking at a company. So it's helpful to see like what kinds of things are important to the people that work there. Uh, okay, you've got another question. This one might be more for Caitlin. How can we stand out as a potential candidate for Gatsby? Like write articles, attend certain events, record videos, uh, any advice? I wouldn't say any of these things are mandatory. If you want to write an article or if you think it would be fun to attend an event, do it. Because I think doing something you're impassioned about always leads to the best results, but you won't be knocked for not doing that. I think the best thing you can do to stand out is to make it clear in a tailored resume and a cover letter why you are excited about Gatsby and why your background and interests make you a good fit for the role that you read meticulously about on the job description page. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for that. And actually, that's a good transition into like the next chunk of things. Uh, we can turn it over to 
JD and Tona, who are the hiring managers for some of the jobs that we have open right now, to talk more specifically about what the roles are that they have open and what they're looking for in candidates. Um, Tona, do you want to go first? Yes, of course. Uh, so we're looking for a DevOps engineer for the infrastructure, infrastructure squad. Uh, we, uh, we're looking for someone that uh, is familiar with Kubernetes, Elasticsearch, GCP if possible. Uh, but we're looking for someone that uh, values or core va well, value or core values. That's kind of weird, sorry. Uh, <laughs> But we're looking for someone that uh, that uh, can take ownership and can help us grow as we continue to onboard more and more cloud clients. Uh, we continue to expand our infrastructure. So we want to make sure that uh, we're providing the best service to our clients. Uh, and therefore, we're looking for someone to, to uh, help us yeah. uh, implementing that. Nice. Uh, any other like advice for people who are interested in applying for that one, like skills? to make sure that they highlight. Yes, if you have cloud experience and if you have Kubernetes experience, uh, put it all the way on the top and, and I will talk to you. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. JD, do you want to talk about the roles that you have? Sure, yeah, we've got two uh, two really important roles, kind of foundational roles for us in the marketing uh, in the marketing function here at Gadsby. So a product marketing role, a product marketing manager, and then also a director of content marketing. Um, I think one thing that both have in common is needing to be able to communicate in the language of developers. Uh, even though these are marketing roles, right? Uh, we are we are ultimately a company that, that that's, that's squarely focused on on developers and, and on the technology that we have here. So, do you have to be a developer yourself? No, nice bonus if, if you if you do and are passionate about about coding and if, if maybe built websites or things like that. But not, definitely not mandatory. But you do need to understand the developers and sort of understand how to speak in the language and communicate effectively. Uh, in an authentic way that's going to resonate, um, you know, with our developer audience. I think product marketing is one of both the hardest but most rewarding jobs that you can have uh, in a company. It's such a like, I don't know, sit at the center of so many different parts of the business. You'll be engaging directly with develop engineering and product management and the product side of the house, but also engaging and supporting and working directly with marketing and sales and customer success and kind of the business end. It's one of those like, I don't know, fulcrum's the right word. I don't know, but it but it sits right at kind of the center of, of all those different pieces of the business. So I think it's a really, really exciting role. And in that role, you do everything from kind of uh, helping understand the market and the comp competitive landscape and the the, the, the direction and helping kind of feed into what we build and what we do, um, but then also taking the amazing things that our engineering and product teams build and helping communicate those back to the market. So helping people understand the value of those things and what's great about them uh, and, and that sort of thing. Um, content marketing, pretty similar, and we're looking for a director level on this. We're looking for somebody who initially, it'll be a very small team, uh, so we're looking for somebody that can roll up the sleeves and create content and produce produce written articles and other forms of content. But we do want somebody in this role, too, that, that has the ability and can be thinking about building a team over time and really building out a function. Uh, content is in all its forms is just very, very critical to everything that we do in terms of delivering our message, helping people use our product better helping people understand and learn about Gatsby in the first place and all those types of things. So looking for somebody that's passionate about writing, passionate about communication. Um, uh, but, you know, it's not only written communication in today's world. Of course, there's video and lots of things like this, right? Like all sorts of different forms of, uh, of content that we want to be working on. So, um, yeah, and I think, you know, as already mentioned, obviously somebody that, that can embrace those values that we mentioned that are, that are, you know, so core to what we are at Gadsby. Um, I think also just maybe a few other things I'd add or just someone who's really curious. Uh, and, and I think a curious mind is, is going to be really, really important for these types of roles um, uh, and a problem solver, right? We want somebody who can identify problems and, and loves to jump in and try to figure out solutions. I think those are also just things that uh, that are important here. And look, we're a startup. We're growing and 
and, and growing rapidly, but but this is a it's a small environment, it's a startup environment. We need people who are adaptive and iterative and okay with change and you know all that sort of good stuff too. I think that's probably applies for all the roles that we have. Yeah, I would echo that. I feel like because we're growing, this is kind of a new company every year or maybe even every half year. So <laughs> I'd say six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be contending with a new set of challenges and opportunities every six months. So it's there's always going to be something fresh and a way to stretch yourself. Sure. Nice. That's what keeps it fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, we've got another question in the chat that I missed from before. What tools do you use for collaboration with a distributed workforce? How do you communicate when you are available across time zones? So more more logistical of like how do we how do we manage being a global company? That's a good question. I mean, I, I guess I'll kick it off. Um, we we use definitely use a ton of tech tools um, that help us collaborate you know, easily, efficiently, and quickly. It, it depends on sort of the team that you're on, I think, and the focus. We have different tools for different teams, but, you know, definitely use Slack, lots of Slack-based um, apps that, you know, help support us. Um, Tona, JD, do you want to sort of chime in at all? Um, yeah, I think just, I mean, playing off the Slack thing, one thing I've been impressed with too is how many integrated tools we have to Slack. So there's a lot of things that where I might maybe technically using another tool, but I'm sort of staying in my workflow and Slack and staying in that environment. So I think I think that's been a really that's been really great for me getting going here and just being able to like find stuff or remember stuff or get get to get to other things. It's been great. Um, we use Notion uh, internally as well as kind of a um, uh, like an almost like an internet slash wiki slash repository of of all things <laughs> important. Um, I think one thing about Gatsby too, actually kind of going back to even the values, one thing I've seen in my first five weeks here is how uh, really we take serious the idea of documenting things and making sure it's written down, which I think when you're collaborating across time zones and just, we're not all in the office where we can go look at the whiteboard or the bulletin board or whatever. So I think having that culture of writing things down is important and Notion is definitely one of those tools. Um, uh, that, that helps us in that realm. Um, but I think, I think like Christine said, then within each department, there's always a, a certain amount of other tools that we use. I don't know, Tona, you can probably uh, talk about some of the other ones we use on the dev side. Yeah, I think one we're, that we're missing there is uh, we do video conferences uh, via Zoom. Uh, so we, every time that we, we have anything, again, we have it integrated in Slack. So we, we just do dash Zoom and you're able to be, to, uh, be on a conference with your team or, or with uh, uh, an individual. Uh, we use Parable. I don't know if anyone is familiar with that, but it's a tool that allows you to do retros and, and think about, okay, what went well and what can we do better? And uh, it's very interactive. Uh, it's a little bit anonymous, so you're free to say, okay, this was something that we can improve without feeling that, uh, that, uh, that you need to... Uh, hold back. Uh, so, in terms of uh, the infrastructure and the engineering side, I think we're very open to listen uh, to see what kind of tools they are there and what we want to implement. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very open if, if there is a, a, an opportunity for us to purchase something or to get something uh, in order to make us faster, make us better, uh, then we're always. Uh, willing to listen. Two, two more I'll throw in that I, I uh, one thing we use is this platform called Rewatch, which makes it just really easy to watch like previ previously recorded, like if you miss an all hands or another key meeting or whatever, we've got this easy place to go find them. I know like at previous companies, like we'd record things, but it's very hard to find them or know what to look for. And so this makes it really easy to find and stay on top of things that you might have missed. Um, another cool tool that I love that I actually used at my last company too is called Donut. And it's a, it's basically an integrated Slack little tool that I think we use, well, there's a lot of use cases, but two of them, one, we use it for a lot of like HR tasks or keeping people up to date on, you know, notifying and helping people, you know, stay on top of things they need to do from that side. Um, but one of the other cool things it does is this sort of like coffee talk uh, matchup meetup thing where it sort of randomly assigns you to another person at Gatsby in this case uh, to just get together and have like a, a social conversation with, right? A, a virtual coffee, if you will, um, which I think is a, is a great way just to 
because again, being a remote distributed company, you miss some of that hallway water cooler type conversations and, and, and those sorts of things. So it's kind of, it's like a forcing function to get you out of your shell and you're just little, your own little team and, and make sure you're getting time to socialize and meet and talk to other people in the company. So I find that one really cool too. Nice. I think there's also some amount of just like everybody knows that we're going to communicate asynchronously and that like you can ask a question and it might take a day or two for somebody to get back to you. But like when they, when they wake up and sign on, I find that they're, they're very good about like answering your questions. So. They really are. I feel like there's never been a question asked at Gatsby that wasn't, you know, tenfold response of, can I help? Here's how I can help. Want to hop on Zoom and pair. That's yeah, kind of exactly. Thing about this group. Nice. Okay, I'm scrolling through to catch up on the chat. Uh, we've got one more question so far. At Gatsby, how is your leadership and feedback philosophy? So maybe more I can, I can start. I can keep that one off. Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah. So I mean, our leadership team is definitely, you know, to JD's point earlier about you know having everything sort of out there. We're, we try to be very transparent. We have all hands and end hands meetings every other week, just so we're staying communicative. We're staying on top of things. We're keeping people aligned um, with what we're we're doing and our focus and our milestones and things like that. So that's really important to us. Um, again, we use Notion heavily to make sure that we're um, very transparent about whatever it is, whether it's a process or procedure or just basic information. Like it's it's definitely our Bible that we use um, frequently. I'm always in it, you know, day after day. Um, and then feedback philosophy, um, you know, we definitely, again, you know, speaking to our core values, we want to, we, we work to be very collaborative and very transparent. So, um, you know, I spoke earlier at the top of the hour about having opportunities for people to advance and managers being, you know, sort of very focused on, okay, you know, these are the different levels, here are the skill sets within those levels, and here's what you need to do and how I can help you get sort of to that next step or that next level. Um, that's really important. And part of that is just having a very um, uh, constant feedback of, you know, this is what's going great. This is, you know, maybe some areas that we can look at to help focus and, 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 and grow in this area. Um, I actually lead um, some training workshops for our managers to help them grow more confident in their skills and to help, you know, work through issues just like this, where, you know, we want to provide opportunities for team members and, you know, looking at, you know, strengths and weaknesses and, and balancing that out and trying to get people to sort of the best place that, it, that they can be. So um, definitely something that's important to get to be that we focus on. Does anyone else have sort of anything else to add to that? I can add a couple of things. Uh, I think just on the leadership side too, one thing that's resonating with me because I heard our CEO, Zach, say it an hour ago in a meeting. And and I, and I think he's he's it's one of the things he definitely values in leaders and, and sort of pushes us to stay focused on is, is sort of these you know, there's some some pretty straightforward jobs to be done as a leader here. One is communicate and communicate well and often. I think that's a big thing we value in our leaders is open communication, transparency, and and constantly reinforcing the priorities and the messages that we want people to 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 embrace. Uh, second is making decisions. Like we definitely want our leaders to. And we really want everybody, but but our leaders in particular to make decisions. Like. And sometimes you'll be wrong and that's okay. Be accountable to those decisions and follow through on them. But we need to make decisions and we need to be firm about that. Um, third, I would say is make action plans. Like we wanna be very action oriented. We don't want our leadership to just be sort of philosophizing <laughs> and, and you know throwing theories around. We wanna drive action. And we want I think it's a responsibility of leaders here to, to put into place action and to drive uh, uh, plans of how we take action. And maybe fourth, I would say is, is I don't think he necessarily phrases it this way, but, but thinking big picture, um, we definitely want our leaders. There's always the like fire of the moment or the thing you got to do right now or work with that one individual, but we always want to take that step back and make sure we're thinking about the good of the business overall and the long-term viability in, in, in addition to whatever short-term need or pro problem or thing we're trying to tackle. So I think those are some core things that we we think about and talk about often too and how we want our leaders to act and perform. Um, and I would just second what what, what um, Christine said around feedback as well. I think we want to be a, 
a company that embraces two-way feedback and, and having open conversations. And we've got some tools actually to help us with that too, but um, we definitely want to be a, a, a feedback-driven culture. Nice. Anybody want to add anything else? Cool. We've got another question in the chat about uh, hiring for fresh graduates. Do we have anything like internships or what is the sort of stance on those? We don't currently have internships. We might <laughs> in the future. <laughs> um, and really to be transparent, what this comes down to is what the bandwidth is and what people at Gatsby can post reasonably and without being spread too thin. So we're small, we're, we're a lean team. And I think as we grow, that's definitely something that's on our radar and that we're interested in. And when we're in a place where we can support a great experience for both sides, that is something we will do. I'm a huge fan of it. And we'll be, we'll be pushing hard that at some point we embrace that. Like I've had really, really good success with, with internship programs and, and sort of early hiring out of universities in the past. So I think it is something that you'll probably see us, uh, getting into. Nice. Um, folks in the chat, let us know if you have other questions. Now's your time to ask anything about hiring, recruiting, or what it's like to work at Gatsby. Um, did you all have other things that you wanted to touch on? Anybody feel free to jump in. Does anyone want to talk about like their favorite thing maybe about Gatsby or working here or? I'll go first. It's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's a tie. I love everyone. <laughs> I'll go next. Uh, I think my favorite thing about Gatsby is a we have big problems to solve, but then we have the capabilities to solve them. So seeing the engineering organization, how capable they are, how smart they are, how committed they are to Gatsby. I think that's something that is hard to see and uh, it's really reflected here at Gatsby. You can see people that just love the product and they just want to do the right thing for the clients. And when you put it all together, uh, you get amazing things. Nice. JD, do you wanna go next? Sure, I mean, I think my somewhat e too easy or cliche answer is going to be the people, but, but that's what it is. I, I think it's, and I, I would, I would say the people that I've been able to meet and work with, you know, so far here have just been amazing. And I think I would probably categorize that or split that up two ways. Like one is just the, the passion people have for what we're doing and for the problems we're trying to solve, like Tona described, like, I think people here really care deeply and like truly want to make the web a better place. And, and like, and, and yeah, just just been really, really impressed with the passion that people have. Um, and then at the same time, like, I just love the fact that even for a small startup, we are so distributed and diverse in the sense that, you know, Christine and some of the others were talking about earlier, like just this morning, I had a call with someone in Germany and then I call with someone in North Carolina and Michigan, like right after that. And like, so just being able to, you know, interact regularly with people from all different walks of life and all different parts of the globe, like is, is, is really, really awesome too. And uh, definitely enjoying that. So yeah, it's mostly people stuff for me. Awesome. Christine. Yeah, you? I mean, for sure. I mean, if I could do a little plus sign on Slack, which, which what JD said, um, I definitely would. For sure, the people, it's a really talented, amazing, inspiring group of people. Um, it's great to sort of show up to work every day and like, feel invigorated by the people around you. Um, and I think second to that, um, just Gatsby is a place where you can have impact. You, it's a small place, but you know, your contributions are meaningful and they're seen and that's huge. And um, I just, I think that is very impactful and, and it's very telling of what we're doing and, and the direction that we're going. And that, you know, again, to JD's point, um, you know, we're looking for people sort of who take ownership and, and leadership and, aren't afraid to have that type of influence. And like, that's where I want to work. I want to work a place where I can have impact and, and the work that I'm doing shows. Nice, love that. Love feeling like the work that you are doing matters. Yeah. Pro pro probably one thing maybe important to call out right here too, is that even though we are kind of a, a classic startup in many ways, and you're gonna have to juggle working with people across different time zones and stuff, this is not a sweatshop hour kind of environment. 
And this is not a place where people are regularly pulling 15, 16 hour days and things like that. It's not to say when there isn't a problem or something someone's really fired up and passionate about that they might not, they might sometimes work extra or put in extra time as needed, but that is not the normal expectation. And that is not the normal day here. And I found this is a place that definitely respects like not expecting someone to respond to a Slack if it's after hours or, you know, any of that sort of thing. I think we are really, really trying to keep a good work-life balance here. Um, not just because it's the right thing to do in the sense of people and their health and mental health, but I think it also ultimately makes people more productive and gets you better business results when people are balanced in their life and they're able to, uh, you know, not just be in that, you know, one zone all the time, but are able to branch out and have other experiences and do other things. So I think quality of, of life, work-life balance, however you want to phrase it, I think is a big important thing here too. And we're a startup, we work really hard and we need to work really hard, but I think we do, we do a good job of, of, of getting that balance, right? Yeah, I'll echo JD here because you see usually you see that as an, in a manager level. Uh, here at Gatsby, it's not on a manager level, it's an uh, organization level. Uh, we have the support of Christine. She's always looking around, see, making sure that we we are uh, not going a little bit too crazy. Uh, so seeing the support from everyone on the organization is, is uh, really appreciated. This has already kind of been highlighted, but I would definitely plus one on the growth potential. I can think of a handful of large handful of people at Gatsby who came in as ICs and they're amazing and kind and passionate and they work hard and they see the opportunity at hand and they are now in leadership positions. And I think that's really exciting that Gatsby recognizes that kind of talent and nurtures it and rewards it. Awesome, love that. I wanna get back to some of these questions that we have in the chat uh, and also people in the chat, keep, keep them coming. So we've got one about uh, technical positions. Do we do coding screenings like online tests or take home projects? Uh, and how do we value GitHub portfolios? So yes, you will have a chance to show your technical chops. You will know exactly what those chances are. So often for engineering IC roles, you will do a pairing session. You'll know about it in advance. It won't be a surprise or a gotcha. Um, so you'll just be set up with someone at Gatsby to pair for about 45 minutes. And then a lot of our roles also include take home projects. So sometimes they piggyback off the pairing session. Sometimes they're a little bit distinct, depends on the role. Um, but it's mapped to be a close example to what you might expect in the role. So it's truly not tricky. It's just meant to be like, this is what the role is. This is the competency that we need in this role. And then you can show us how you knock it out of the park. Um, GitHub portfolios, I don't look at those. I don't, I don't know, Tono, what do you want to say about that? Uh, no, I don't either for the infrastructure side. Yeah, same. I also don't look at you get, I don't care how many green boxes you have. Cause it's also hard. Like in the past I've worked at like enterprise companies and it's all private code. Like right. I was working, but you can't see any of it. So I feel like using that as a metric to rank people is not useful or accurate so yes. one thing i keep talking but gosh it's the marketing guy i guess that's what i do but uh <laughs> I, I i would one thing i was really impressed with and I, I feel like i have to share here is like not only for technical positions and no matter what level in the company we generally try to do this sort of idea of a project in the interview process and myself even cmo title i like had a connection to the company they could have easily just like you know, other companies, I think, might have just pushed me through an interview process or something like that. But I did a project like as, as part of my own interview process to get selected at Gatsby. Uh, I had to do a take home project and come back and present to a team. So I think it's something that we value and and really want to make sure both for the person joining the company as well as for us, that there's a good match and that the work ability and style and all that, you know, is, is a good fit. So I think it's really uh, fair and that's why we keep doing them. Um, you don't have to come on like an experienced talk show host during an interview. We don't expect that from you. <laughs> it's that the project in particular is a way for us to really index on what counts and, and making sure people are set up for success in a new role. And one thing I'll add is that they're paid. Um, so you'll be paid for your time. You shouldn't have to labor for free. And that's very much in the culture of respect 
uh, at Gatsby. Like the fact that we value your time that, you know, early on in the process is, is something that is emulated throughout the life cycle of a team member. So agreed. Yeah. And one thing that I also want to like reiterate that other people have already talked about is like the, the coding evaluations are based off of like real world kinds of projects. Like they very closely parallel what you're going to be doing on the job. I know that some other companies have the like, I don't even know the names of them, but the like automated test like puzzles that you have to do in your browser or whatever. We don't, we don't do those. It's going to be much closer to like the day-to-day -day work that you're going to do on the job. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got another like more tactical question. How are starting salaries calculated? We use Radford data. So that is kind of famous in the HR world, maybe not otherwise, <laughs> but it's sort of <laughs> class um, salary data. It's global. Um, and there are a few factors that come into play when determining a salary. So it's the type of role. So you might be a marketer or an engineer. Uh, it's your level. You are you know, a manager or a senior director. So that comes into play your location, because we are a distributed company. The rule of thumb for us is 75th percentile. Um, so that's what you can expect for a role of your nature and your location. Um, I think that's it. Did I miss anything? Yeah, well, there you have it. <laughs> Sounds good. We've got another question about d and I. I know at Gatsby, it's so important well, I know that at Gatsby, diversity and inclusion is important. Uh, can you share if we have any stats on that or like online resources or links? I feel like Christine and I can both talk about this. We do have stats. We haven't published them. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm, it's smoky where I'm at, so I'm a little bit congested. Apologies for the Gatsby voice. Um, so we don't publish overall company stats. One thing I'm comfortable sharing is that I also track quarter by quarter who's coming in um, as far as new teammates. And so for the past three quarters, 70% of the people we've hired identifies part of one or more underrepresented groups in tech, meaning they're female, non-binary, or of color. So that's something that's been really important to me. Christine, do you have anything to, to piggyback off? No, I think you captured it. Nice. Well done. Uh, let's see. People want to know about the project you did, JD. Ah, okay. Um, it, basically, our website. So it, it, I'll oversimplify a little bit here, but basically, uh, in a nutshell, they had me review the Ga current Gatsby website and come back with some potential, uh, with with sets of questions as well as potential ideas for changing and improving and and, and making it better. So. Uh, yeah, I did sort of, and I think one thing that was really cool, what, what was, I think she mentioned there is, uh, paid for your time, which was, I've never experienced at any company where they make, they do a project, but they're actually going to pay you for your, your valuable time of putting that together. But they also were pretty clear about like capping the time amount. They didn't want me to go spend like, and you know, five days stressing about this and looking at every nook and cranny of the website. It kept, it kept the project pretty straightforward and pretty time boxed. Um, but yeah, in a nutshell, it was that. It was sort of like reviewing the Gatsby website and then suggesting changes, which we made a couple of them. There's still more to come. But uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, but I think the point being real world stuff, right? This was a real thing that's part of my job to work on. So uh, I think, you know, that was key too. It wasn't just some, you know, ethereal type thing. It was something real. Nice. Thanks for that. Um, this is maybe a question for Caitlin, but how long does it usually take to go through the whole interview process from like when you submit your application to when you ideally like come and join us? Yeah. So it's a little bit variable <clears throat> because we use Calendly. So the ball is a little bit in your court as to how you schedule those interviews. But I would say like standard from the time you apply to the time you might have an offer in hand, it's like two and a half ish weeks. And I would say about a week is for the project. Um, so it's only supposed to take a few hours, but you probably have a job and other responsibilities and we don't monitor how long you work on that or when you're working on it. So I think we try to be pretty prompt with the interview conversations and then give you a chance to work the final project into your schedule as you can. Yeah, 
I'll say that like from when I was applying, that was one of the things that stood out to me. It was like how speedy Caitlin was with getting back of like, hey, next step, you go. <laughs> uh, okay, does anybody wanna talk about like what the general direction of Gatsby as a company is right now? Like what kinds of big projects we're working on? Like what, what people will uh, be focusing on when they come in? I don't know if Tona, you want to start maybe on the engineering side with some of the cool stuff we're doing. I I'm struggling because I'm I we have news, but they might not be public news. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shut yeah, up, and I think it, it's probably better if you <laughs> take it. Good point. Yeah, look, I would say I would say generally speaking, like as as probably some or many of you know that are on this, like. We've had a, a great open source uh, solution uh, for a while, and we need to continue to grow that. Um, but we're also a business, right? Gatsby formulated and came together as a company. And I think what we're trying to do is really continue to add value and show people that this, um, this amazing open source framework uh, that we've built, when you combine that with best in class you know, additional tools, hosting and, and builds and all these, when you, when you combine that with what we can bring to the table as get, knowing Gatsby best the way that we do, um, we can add just a tremendous amount of value on top of that, that, that recipe, if you will. I like to use food analogies or whatever, but, but if you think of open source as like a recipe that we've created, right, we can also help you turn that recipe into magic. Uh, through additional value and additional tools that we bring to it. So we've been really working hard th over this past year on our cloud product um, and really getting that to a world-class level uh, so that people can just can go beyond uh, what you can do simply with the recipe, as I like to say. Um, but yeah, there's there's just a lot, a lot of growth. I mean, in the end, at the end of the day, what we're really, you know, trying to do is change the way the web is built. And we want people, we want, you know, marketers and other folks responsible for the website in the business sense to make to be able to get what they need to get in front of their customers get it there fast you know in real time and have those customer experiences just be insanely blazingly fast and and just a rich great experience when people are visiting our customers websites um that's ultimately like what we're in the business of of doing and there's just so much uh ahead that we can and need to and will do <laughs> realm to make things easier for both developers and marketers, easier to work with, easier to update, easier to build uh, things, and then continuing to give just those, you know, insanely awesome experiences for the customers on, on the other side. So yeah, fast sites that are also very fast and easy to develop and build. Thanks. I'll also take a second to do a quick plug for uh, Gatsby Camp, which is coming up on, oh, I should know the date, September 16th. <laughs> September uh, 16th, also my wedding anniversary. Woo oh, congrats. I didn't know that. Uh, so if you wanna hear about some of the like new specific Gatsby features that we're working on, you can come and join this and hear all about it. I'll be talking about documentation, so come hang out. Uh, all right, let's see. We're coming close to the top of the hour. I'm gonna check the chat. Oh, we also have Funk Jam. Uh, JD, do you want to talk about this one? I don't have as much context. But yeah, so, so Gatsby Functions, uh, ability to do serverless functions is a thing we added not too long ago in Gatsby, but it's a really, really powerful uh, feature. And I'm sure any developer on the line understands the power of, of, of having functions as part of this VIX. We're doing a bit of a contest right now that we're calling Funk Jam. By the way, no better campaign name than Funk Jam. I, that alone got me excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're running a contest actually right now where we're going to award prizes. We're actually going to announce those at the Gatsby camp we were talking about uh, a minute ago um, for people to show us creative uses of functions with Gatsby. So if you've got some cool ideas or you're already at your company or even a personal project, frankly, anybody who's doing anything interesting uh, with functions or wants to give it a whirl and a try and there's information on the page you can get to um, But submit those submit your ideas uh, Submit your code and your the ideas that you have and we're going to be giving away some pretty awesome prizes uh, At Gatsby camp around that. So um, yeah, I would love to see any submissions and get people involved with that for sure 
Nice. Okay, we've got one last question in the chat before we wrap up. Uh, a while ago, we talked about cover letters and you suggested that we should mention about why we want to work at Gatsby and our passions about it. Is there an expected way to describe them, like numbers, percentages, a story? Um, this is maybe one for Caitlin. I would say <clears throat> there isn't one recipe for success. And I actually think that that is a competitive strength that we have in the recruiting process here is that it's so high touch and connected. We're not using software to screen people out. We're not creating one archetype for people to fill and just hiring a bunch of those like a factory uh, mill. We're looking for people who are going to be great teammates and can do the role well that we have scoped out. So no, there, there isn't one recipe. Be you. <laughs> and odds are that we're paying enough attention that we'll see it if it's the right fit. I'll echo that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, find your narrative, find your story and, and plug into that. I mean, you can, there's only one you. So, um, you know, index on that. Awesome. We've got one more question that snuck into the chat. Uh, how important is our tech communities and open source at Gatsby? The most. Massive, massively important. Uh, our community is everything. Um, we wouldn't exist without it. And we will continue to always, yes, we're a business. And by the nature of being a business, we do have to earn money and, and those sorts of things. Uh, but we will never walk away from the open source side. It's an important foundation uh, for what we are, um, you know, what, what Gadsby is. Uh, and just, yeah, the community in general is a massively, massively important thing for us, both contributing directly to Gadsby and to the framework, uh, but also our community helps us test features. We do almost everything we release. We run through kind of alphas and betas and, you know, having early adopters uh, use and give us feedback on it. Um, it. Things like Funk Jam, right? Or even things like Gadsby Camp, like we're looking to the community uh, to help us push the boundaries of these things and, and to, yeah, continue to help us uh, tune what we're doing. So massively, massively important to us. Um, uh, the community out there. And we've been really fortunate to build quite a following, actually. Um, I know for a company our size, when I came in, I'm like, well, we have how many Twitter followers? And, you know, things <laughs> like that. Like, we, there's a big community out there that's passionate about Gatsby, and we want to continue to support and help grow that community for sure. Yeah, I've dropped a couple of links into the chat uh, to our GitHub discussions, if you're interested in, like, talking to our engineers about upcoming features and seeing what people are working on and giving feedback that way. Uh, we also have a contributing section of our website that talks about if you want to like make a code contribution or a docs contribution, uh, it talks through how to do that. Uh, and we also have a Discord that uh, is also linked in the chat now. Thanks, Kirsten. Uh, and so if you are interested in getting more faster feedback, I guess, um, we have some of our engineers are in there. There's also a lot of community people talking about the projects that they're working on. Um, so yeah. All right. Last, last little, last couple of minutes. Does anybody want to say any, anything to, to wrap us up? Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, this was fun. Thank you. Yeah. And just, maybe I'll just say too, like, to get, I mean, it was kind of mentioned earlier, but I know sometimes there's a fear of applying for things if you don't check every box on the list or, you know, that sort of thing, but don't hesitate, right? Like you never know. And again, expressing your, your passion and why you think you're fit and all those things will go a long way. Um, but yeah, I, I would say don't hesitate to apply if you think there's even a, even a mild chance that that, that job might be right for you. Uh, and then there is the dream job thing we talked about earlier too. So feel free to just submit and, you know, give us your credentials and a little bit about who you are and, and maybe it'll be something opening up before long. Yeah, I think that's key that I, that I would like to say on uh, JD there. If you feel like you're underqualified or overqualified, I will still apply and make sure that you mention that on your cover letter. Uh, again, we read everything and uh, I have uh, met, uh, we have had several occasions where we we either bump uh, or change the position to because it's, it is the right person. Awesome. Uh, so on that note, we'll we'll wrap things up. So thank you to you all for joining uh, to come and talk to us about 
Gatsby, and thanks to everybody in the chat for bringing, bringing your questions. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.